What's up guys, Javier from That Racing Channel. Today, we're gonna check out Dexter's 1994 Toyota Supra, and this thing is one hell of a street machine. All right guys, here she is. Dexter's 1994 Toyota Supra. This thing is insanely clean. What's up, man? This thing looks so good. Thanks, man, I appreciate it. Hey, start her up for us. Give us a little rev. So we're here with uh, Dexter and his absolutely insanely clean. Just this thing's gorgeous, man. So Thanks, your 1994 man. Toyota Supra. Thank you. So how's it going, my man? Thanks Good. for coming out. No problem, man. You know it's really a, a honor to, to be featured with you guys, man. Really look up to you guys. Love the channel. Love the channel. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Awesome. You're gonna get uh, some extra sauce in this video, then. You're gonna, get that, you're gonna get the extra extra goodies in this editing, then. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> for the compliment. Thank you. Uh, well, no, th thanks for coming out, man. Uh, give us uh, give us the rundown on the car. Well, it's a 1994 Toyota Supra, uh, original six speed. Um, it is uh, tuned by Alpha and induction performance. It makes 800 horsepower, 35 pounds on ethanol. <laughs> Today it's on a maybe a little bit of a lower boost setting, but I mean, 800 wheel horsepower in in a street car yes. is a handful. It's a lot of fun. Absolutely, yeah. it's a lot of fun. You know, and, and again, you know, and a lot of people build their cars, supers, and thinking, oh, it has to have a thousand horsepower. And you know, I, I don't think so. I, I think that you can have an all around car if you really build it the right way. You know, and you know, I think 800 horsepower is more than enough for the street. Just more than enough. More than enough. Yeah, That's for absolutely. sure. Absolutely. More than enough, and and again, it's it's not only about the peak horsepower, but you probably have a pretty good uh, power band because I, I believe it's a, a Precision 67 millimeter turbo. Yes, yeah, 67, 66 dual ball bearing with an 81 back housing. Um, so it's really up quick, quick. <laughs> really quick spool. I'm at full boost at about 4,500 RPM. And again, for the street, for cruising, that's just perfect. It's perfect. Oh yeah, it comes into boost probably what close to four thousand RPM. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, just exactly. where mo where other Supras with uh, making much more power, they're coming in six, seven thousand. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So. so it's a it's a ton of fun, man. Exactly. So uh, w what engine management on? Who tuned the car? So it's on a Pro A5 engine management, um, flex fuel of course, uh, with E85 and pump gas, and is tuned by uh, Alpha at induction performance. I basically took the car to them and said, look, this is what I want. You know, I don't want to eat too much power. I don't want too much, uh, all of that. I just want a lot of drivability. Drivability was the main function. Like we have the AC on right now, just cruising, very smooth car. That's what I really wanted. And, and you know, Alpha delivered as usual. That's awesome, man. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, you guys did a hell of a job with the build. Thank you, thank you so much. And so if I'm not mistaken, it's a stock motor? It is a stock block. Um, the head is is built with uh, double valve springs, retainers, head studs, 
GSC one cams. Just uh, just a nice straightforward build um, that won't break the bank, but just enough to get you that 800 horsepower right. with a good tuning and good management. So stuff. stock bottom end, stock crank, pistons, stock rods, pistons, stock cranks, stock rods, stock bottom end. <coughs> very cool, very cool. All right, man. So let's uh, let's make a little hit. See how she feels. Exhaust manifold, intake manifold, all, all that stuff. Well, it's a PHR turbo kit, and and you know, big shout out to them. They're really, really good guys. They make a lot of parts for the Supra, uh, but it's a PHR turbo kit with a PHR S45 manifold, uh, precision 60 millimeter wastegate, um, and they made the downpipe. PHR made the way uh, the um, the midpipe as well. All the piping, just did an excellent job. All the dress up stuff in the engine bay was done with with PHR parts. So. Uh, big shout out to them. Just uh, I love all the products. And hey, you did a beautiful job do, doing it, the color scheme, and doing it the way you did it because it is probably one of the nicest ones we've we've come across in in a, in a feature. Uh, thank you, thank yeah. you so much. I Absolutely, man. So mad, mad props on that. Thank you. Um, cool, man. So what, what clutch is in the car? It's a RPS uh, twin carbon carbon clutch. So um, I had it since you know another piece that was just really really made for drivability. It can still hold the power and it's definitely very, very smooth. There's other clutches out there that are really grabby and this is just a nice smooth engagement. You know, best twin disc clutch that I've ever driven on. That's sure. awesome, that's sure. awesome. Yeah, it seems, uh, when you're taking off, it seems very easy, almost like a stock feel. It doesn't right. have too much chatter. Mm -hmm. I mean, you hear a little bit, but it's mm -hmm. nothing like some of the other ones that you've seen out there, you know? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. It didn't look this good. <laughs> no, <laughs> you, you well, put quite a bit into it uh, to make it to make it look this way. Yeah. We'll actually, we'll actually plug some of the original pictures that you showed me right. of the car, which was I thought like a really cool transformation. Right. Uh, but how long have you had the car, and what exactly did you, what state did you get it in, and how'd you get it to this way? Well, I got the car in 2015. You know, uh, I bought it. It had some CCWs on there. Had you know just the, the stock body. The super Supra, starter pack. The super starter pack, exactly. <laughs> and, you know, I just decided, you know, let me go ahead and just change up the car from scratch. So we, uh, I ordered, you know, the Shine body kit with the full carbon and the front and back diffusers. Um, we ordered the the Wark wheels, Zeist wheels, 19 inch, your custom order from Japan. Um, so those took some time to get because it's, I guess, maybe one of the only Supras running, running those wheels or? Yes, when we ordered them, um, it was the, the first Supra that had these wheels. Um, it took six months to get the wheels, and uh, it definitely worked the weight. Oh yeah, looks definitely amazing. Worked the weight. Yeah, 
so much fun, man. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I really like that about the car, man. You know, it, you still get to feel the road and feel the car. You know? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's the yeah. great. These things are just so raw mm -hmm. compared to like a lot of the newer cars out there. Absolutely. That's what it's about, you know. It Absolutely. sounds like you had a fantastic team help you put the car together, and Absolutely. it's it's typically never a one man job. So. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it so third gear here. Yeah. Thank you.